Hi, welcome back to the Blind LP for Eagle Eye Mysteries in London. So now we are going to start off with this episode's mystery, which is Case of the Lyric Larceny. Let's start off straight away. Hey, Stakaze and Jake. You seem quite good with clues and such. How are you at finding lost things? Pretty good. I forget my stuff all the time, so I get lots of practice at finding it again. What have you lost, Nigel? I haven't lost anything, but my friend Astrid has. She's lost a song. Song? How can anyone lose a song, Nigel? I'm not sure, but, but Astrid has, and she's gone all emotional about it. Can you help her out? She rang me from the Wax Museum. Right you are, Nigel. Come on, Starkaze, let's hustle. Okay. Astrid is a few years older than Nigel. It's neat that they are friends. Is that Astrid? Thank heaven you've come. Nigel said you'd help me find my song. I wrote a, I wrote a new song for my band, Stiff Upper Lip, in my little red notebook, but you know, it's gone. I was in the British Museum at lunchtime looking up information about Queen... Queen Bodisha? The song is all about her, you know. I lost this I last saw the notebook in the Grey Co Roman room. As read who's Queen Bodisha? Why, she's a British hero. Long ago she led a revolt of the British people against the Romans. You can learn more about her in the British Museum. I can't imagine who would be so crummy as to lift my notebook, unless it was Regina. Her band, Tone Deaf, is competing in with my band in a, a big audition tomorrow. Maybe you should talk to Jules, our keyboard player. He knows Regina pretty well, I dare say. He's off busking in Covent Garden near the office at our agent, Miss Drumwright. Yeah, the office of our agent, I believe. Basking? Oh yes, playing music on the street for money. How about Regina? Where can we find her? Try the old week. Tone deaf practice there sometimes. Oh, and have a word with old Jeremy, our band's biggest fan. When we're not on stage, she hangs out at the Sherlock Holmes pub. There's a lot of running around. Let's take a look at our map of London and see which way we need to go to get to Covent Garden. Oh no. Oh, oh no. To get from Madame Tussauds on Marylebone Road to Covent Garden down by the Strand, we need to take the bus east or west. Uh, to get from Madame Tussauds on Marylebone Road to Covent Garden. Um, give me a moment. Let me just check and I'll cut back to when I find the answer. Well, it looks like Marylebone is on the west, so we need to take... Okay, it looks like we have to go east. Alright. So we'll go east. That's right, we'll... Wonder eastbound bus to Covent Garden. Let's go. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Hey, if that's Jules, he plays pretty well.
When Astrid told me she had lost the new song, I was down and glum. That song was our best chance to win the audition tomorrow and go on tour with that great band, not quite cricket. I'd do almost anything to be in the band that wins the audition. What? Our other songs won't win because we haven't practiced them enough to be really good. At least that's what Miss Drumright, our agent, said at lunch today. Now if you excuse me, I've got to make some more money before I call it a day. A sign over this door reads Cat's Fit Music Agency, Violet Drumright, Agent. Miss Drumright, we're detectives on a case. Astrid lost her notebook, which had her latest song written in it. Did she? Good. She spends too much write, too much time writing songs. I tell her, uh, time and again, don't write, play. But does she listen to me? No. Regina's band, on the other hand, plays a lot. This is a ticket for su success. I had lunch with Jules today at noon. I told him to make a street and practice more often. He said he would try. Excuse me for staring, Miss Drumright, but did you know your hair is the exam exact same a uh, unusual color as a street? So, purple. What's wrong with that? Oh yes, we all get our hair done at the same place, Le Leopards on Queen Street. Just tell Mr. Charles that Violet sent you. Who's Violet? Oh, her. Do I go to over there then? Oh, that's far. But I'm curious. Queen Street. Whatever happens, don't let Mr. Charles color my hair purple or green or pink. Welcome to Leopards. Now will this be just a cut? Or would we like to put a little color into our lives, hmm? Yikes! Yikes! No haircut, please. And no color. Just some information about Astrid and Eugenia. Miss Drumrat, I mean, Violet sent us. Oh, alright then. Astrid and Regina, being show people, both have their hair colored and styled here because I am simply the best in London. Astrid started the violet hair craze. Regina used to have purple hair, but this afternoon she wanted it jet black for her audition tomorrow. So I made it so. Wait, but her hair wasn't black. Oh, wait, I'm thinking about the wrong person, I guess. We haven't met Regina yet, right? Yeah, we haven't. Okay, let's find someone else. Okay, we'll do the British Museum first. Thousands of people pass through the British Museum every day, Star Kaze. But if somebody just picked up Astrid's notebook by mistake, they would have returned it. It had her name and number in it. I think whoever took Astrid's notebook did it on purpose. Probably. Excuse me, sir. Have you been painting here for a while? Oh. It's him. Yes, for weeks. Actually, this is my third canvas. Didn't like the first two, you see. Paint got too thick. Did you happen to notice a woman who was here at noontime with a red notebook? Ah, the young lady with the purple hair. Of course I noticed her. Got an eye for colour now, don't I? I saw her and her sister too. Sister? But Astrid doesn't have a sister. Well, another woman with purple hair came up behind her right at noon. 
I thought she was going to say hello, but she didn't. She snuck away again. Passing strange, I said to myself at that time. An exhibit in the museum tells the story of Bodhisya, Bodhisya, who became queen of the, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, of the Iceni tribe of Britain in 60 AD. At that time, Rome ruled Britain. Because Bodhisya was a woman, the Romans didn't respect her as queen. They mistreated her horribly and took her lands for their own. In response, Bodhisya led a ter terrifying revolt. The Roman town of Londonium was flattened, as were Colchester and St Albans. It looked as though the Romans might have to flee Britain. But a Roman army defeated the Britons and Bodhisya took poison rather than be captured. Today, she is remembered as an early example of the courageous spirit of the English people. Okay. Let's go another spot. She's not home spot. That must be Jeremy over there. Let's see what he has to say about Astrid's mystic notebook. Astrid's notebook? Where she judges all her song ideas? Listen mate, I'll give you five pounds for it. No questions asked. Five pounds? No, look, I... Okay, fifty then. Fif sorry. Okay, forty then. Fifty? Listen, I collect everything that has to do with Steve Upper Lip. I must have that notebook for my collection. But we don't have it. It's lost. We must find it and get it back to Astrid. It has a new song she wrote in it about Queen Bodhisattva. Well, I'm the only collector of Steve Upper Lip souvenirs. So when you do find it, just come to me. I'll pay you handsomely and give the notebook back to Astrid myself. Oh, really? Would you give it back? So why would you pay for it? We're interrupting one of Tone Death's practice session. I hope they won't mind. Regina? She does look a lot like Astrid, I think. Regina, we're friends of Astrid's. We wondered if you know anything about a rate notebook of hers. It's missing. Rate notebook? Nah, I don't know anything about it. Hey, wait a minute, love. Astrid doesn't think I took her notebook, does she? I'd never, because that would hurt Jules. And I wouldn't want to do anything to hurt my Jules now, would I? Now, we must practice. We have a big audition tomorrow. Ready to tune death? Hit it! Starkaze, did you notice? Except for their hair colour, Regina and Astrid look a lot alike. I thought so too. And that didn't solve anything for me. There's nowhere else to go. Let me save. Okay. I'm surprised. I'm not sure what to do. How strange. What should I do? This is um confusing. Can I see a street again? Let's get a hint from Jake. Astrid last saw the notebook in the British Museum. Didn't Mr. Fresh Curious see another woman there with purple hair? Yeah, he did. 
you know what? It can't be Regina because she dyed her hair black. Who else had that purple hair? It's drum right, isn't it? Oh no, I accidentally exited. Let's go back in there. What did I press anyway? The other woman in the British Museum had purple hair at that time, but she looked a lot like Astrid, remember? Really? Really? Let's go take a look at what Fresh Kira said. Looks a lot like her. I see, so it's... It is! Oh no. It's Regina, huh? How about this? Then... Um... Regina said she wouldn't do anything to... Huh. Miss Trumra is glad that she lost her notebook. No, okay. No. We want to point it to Regina. This. And then Miss Trumra's hair is the same color as the street. When the Romans, rather than be captured, Jeremy collects anything. He offered to pay 50 pounds, okay. Jill said he would do almost anything to be in the band. This. I have no idea. Let's try. Okay. I got it wrong. Let's saw. Oh, she didn't do anything to hurt a street. No, not this. Colored purple. Choose from. Okay. Okay. Do almost anything now. Last song. Anything else? Gina 
message you didn't do anything to hurt Astrid. It's just plain. Don't know. There's a part where somebody said he saw someone There's a part where somebody says they last saw someone in the that one Hmm Oh it's here really I promise Mr. John Ray He will get I should just stop writing songs. Okay. It's Reggie. It's a. Uh, what the I don't know. Gina. You got it! Regina swiped Astrid's notebook at the British Museum. Our first brick break was an eyewitness. Mr. Frescura saw a woman with purple hair like Astrid's come up behind her at the British Museum right at noon. That would seem to be Miss Rum right, but she couldn't have done it. And then when the notebook was stolen, she was at lunch with Jules. But then we learned that at noon, Regina also had purple hair. She just colored it black that this afternoon. Remember what else Mr. Fresh Fres Cura said? He said the woman who snuck out on Astrid looked like the sister. We saw ourselves how much Regina resembles Astrid. Right, and we're done with this mystery. So, in the next episode, we will continue on with the next mystery, which is Case of the Vapors Victorian. So, thank you for watching and goodbye.